What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll do a quick review on DeWitt's Wet Stick Roof Cement Caulk, number 99, Black Asphalt. I recently used this roof caulk on my roof, and I will show you the results and how it has held up. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now, let's get started. I had some water leaks at a couple seams, where some roofs came together. One here, and... One here. These joints were sealed in the past, but the barrier was worn and they just need to be recalked. So I went to Home Depot and selected DeWitt's Wet Stick Roof Cement Caulk. Quality since 1931. That's 90 years! Contractor grade. Perfect. Use on wet or dry surfaces. Impressive. Water and weather resistant. I sure hope so. That's the entire purpose. Seal or repair. Roofing, shingles, flashings, vents and pipes, gutters, skylights, seams, expansion joints, and foundations. I just need to lay down a bead where there is a small gap between shingles and the soffit. This is as easy as it gets. And per the product information, this product will handle it no problem. Right? So, I loaded the tube into the caught gun and sealed the seams on my roof. I don't have any footage because I believed that would be the end of the story. And I didn't anticipate making a review video of it in the future. So, I'll tell you about it. It flowed really nice, and applied very easily and cleanly. I pumped the cracks full of caulk, laying down nice thick beads. I was very happy with the product. Before applying it, I could see daylight through the seams from the inside of the building. After sealing it, there was no longer any daylight shining through. And when it rained a few days later, everything stayed dry. Perfect. Case closed. But here we are, about three weeks later. I walked through the building and could see daylight shining through the seams again. It's no longer sealed. This is not good. I checked the other building and it was the same story. Daylight shining through. The seal is compromised. Unbelievable. So, let's go up and check this stuff out. Looking at the caulk, it's still present and pretty much looks the same. I put down a couple nice thick beads to get a good seal. The caulk is still very soft. I can easily push it around. I'm confident that this is temperature dependent. It's about 85 degrees out. I doubt this would be the case if it was cold out. Let's head to the other location. Taking a close look here, there is a long split that has formed in the center of the bead. And it looks like it may have separated from the soffit a little here. I'm not sure about that, but we're going to find out next when it gets dark out. And in regard to the caulk being soft and squishy in hot weather, this bead is nice and firm. I laid them both down at the same time, so I don't know. Now that it's evening and dark out, let's see exactly where this caulk failed. I have set up a work light shining up at the seams from the inside of the building. Going outside, we should be able to see the light shining through the cracks in the caulk from above. Taking a look, there is light coming through a portion of the crack that was in the center of the caulk bead. Pretty significant. Wrapping around, there is also a few spots where it has separated from the soffit and light is visible. So, after encountering this in two different applications, after only three weeks, I felt inclined to make a review video. I use roof caulk because the application is for a roof, and this product was advertised as being perfect. When I first put it down, it went down great, and it sealed everything up. But, then three weeks later, all of the seams were compromised. Maybe it's a great product, and I got a tube with a bad blend. I don't know. But based on this experience, I will not try this product again, and I would not recommend it. I definitely need to do something about this DeWitt's roof caulk. It just didn't work. I'll probably scrape it all off and use something different. If you have used this product, leave your experience in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.